Here it is. There's a 34 A, B, go to subroutine, F, G, H key. So there are three key, three machines now. Who was talking about the three machines with me the other day with the color keys? What's the third one? There's the 67, the 34C, and the 25E. Okay, yeah. yeah, okay, so there you go. I just thought I'd, uh, I'd, I'd share that with you. Uh, I have no idea how this computer works. Let's go back to Harold. And let's, oh, we should be able to view here, shouldn't we? Yeah, this is the right arrow. View. You uh, just double click on one of them and then. Yes. Yeah. I just want to look. I, I don't want to pull them all up. No, no, There's no, no need no, to pull. No, no. no, I don't want to pull them all up, Brian. I just want well, to pull not. one up. If you just there you go. Click on one, and then yeah, you but can I didn't know which right. from, from from the list. They're all generic yeah. names. Yeah. So I wanted to see the uh, see the generic. So there you go. There's a 34C in the left, hmm? and there's a 34 enhanced infrared with the keys from the 34. <laughs> Except for down here, you had to handwrite. Pause with a magic marker. <laughs> anyway, we'll get rid of that. Thank you. You got it? Yes, yes. Okay. So that's all I wanted to show you on that. Now, I did not realize I was going to be playing this right now. I thought we were having a sort of an ad hoc repair thing. That's later. And talking. That's later. Well, that's when this was supposed to be. Well, but. But we can play the. No, that's right. I mean, what's on the schedule for you? you well, it was 8 o'clock for this. Yeah, but no, this, this is, is your 450 talk right now. Yeah, this is your 450 demos. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. I was told on uh, when we flew right. here right. that it was eight o'clock and it was ad hoc. So that you're oh, going to get no, the no, video. You can do the video, but we all, any not. system demos and upgrades, we really shouldn't put it at the very end. Yeah, well, that's right. what I thought. So you're right. Yeah. Well, see, but don't roll really against me. There we go. We will. This machine should play the video. There it is. So, uh, I don't know if anybody's been here. If you've got 11 minutes, bear with me. We can answer. We can we can narrate it as we go. If I turn the volume up, you'll hear about how he's supposed to back in the living room and uh, do a bunch of other stuff. So I, I canceled the video completely. So I just removed the two feet. And that one wouldn't come out, so I took it off screen. I'm hammering it out right now. The two little rubber feet, you have to pry them out. Now we're going to show you how to use a screwdriver. I just realized this is really silly. But uh, there's the screwdriver, and it's gone into where the two screws are. Yeah. And we're turning it. Now, now you laugh, because... No, do you take the second screw out the same way? No, no, you don't. No, you don't, because I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Here, I'm in the second screw. Now, yeah, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, no, we're back into it again. So the second screw does come out. It actually was stuck right in there. This thing had never been opened. So I had to pull it back, do it, and get it back on the screen. Now it will come out. Now it's out. Now it's out. What kind of watch is that? Oh, I'll tell you about that later. That's one of 30. That's number three. Uh, I showed, and I'll demonstrate later, how to open a, 25, a woodstock without bending the darn tabs. There's a trick Tony Duell showed me. It's a trick with your fingers. You push with your thumb, you push down on the prongs, and it falls right in your hand. So there you go. You got your two prongs. So you see how fast that was? Yeah, and that's with the scotch that you saw earlier. So now we're going to separate the cream board and the PC sections, which you saw the individual photos. You can see the LED block, which is now going to come off and go off screen to the top. That's the twin. No, this board's not. This is a different one. I'm uh, just flipping it around artistically so you can see where the act chip is. Can you turn out the lights in the front yeah, room or something? Yeah, yeah. Th this is kind of a little bit better for contrast. I think it's all or nothing. Near the sink. Anyway, um, I don't know how to. Okay, that no, that was that was perfect. Okay, so you can see the prongs beautifully in this picture. That you you don't want to bend them. A lot of times they're corroded. They're going to fall apart. Well. If you want to put them together, you put it all back together and then you remove that prong and add another prong because it's being held in the correct place. Yeah. Now, as I told you, we're going to do a little soldering here. Soldering? <laughs> soldering. We're going to do a little soldering. 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 Yeah. So, soldering. <laughs> it's a boot time you said that. Anyway, that's an old joke. I'm a, I'm a believer in flux. This is all, this is uh, raw, yes. It's a very mild, there's four electrical systems. Uh, but it is an acid, so we want to make sure we wash all this stuff off. Uh, yeah, I'm just flirting around with the paintbrush. 
I was, I was playing with my Canon camera. It's the first time I've done a close-up video with, uh, mm -hmm. with my head out of the way. And you'll see that the head doesn't stay out of the way. Can you step back? I oh, I'm you're sorry. Can you move forward way. a bit here? It's going to be like some bright light. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Desolder bowl. I edited out the language. I edited out the lost part. I lost five parts. <laughs> I did want to have 25 guys on the floor like last year looking for it, so that's been edited up. Now, very important thing. This is that contraption with the bulb on it. So this is extra this is a soldering iron. It's melting. You like it? Now it is coming up, but the problem with these pins is they were really long and they you can only go so far. And number two is I was impatient and I should have let it warm up a bit more. So now it's starting to work now. But what you're gonna look for. I'm, but believe me, I'm not going to do all 28 pins for you. Now it's working. Now we're pulling the solder, the solder off. Uh, oh, now the hair is getting in the way. It's a foggy day. Really? Okay. Yeah. There, there's three of them. There's hair? three of them. One, two, three. There's three hairs. Don't do that, Jay. I mean, yeah. only have two. I'm jealous. Yeah. Now you see that? That's perfect. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. Oh, the second one's perfect. Now it's actually got up to speed here, and it's literally bump, bump, pump, 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 and you get the stick, the uh, pin, and hopefully all the sol solder <coughs> is missing. <coughs> so I'm not going to do them all. There we go. Once the solder is removed, confirm the leg is free by just taking a little probe and moving the leg. And once they're all free, I use a plastic probe just for static. By the way, this is an anti-static pad. It's grounded to a tap. I'm grounded to it. So this thing just pops right off. There, it's gone. Well, not yet. Okay, there it's gone. Now we've got the holes exposed, but they're not clean enough. So here comes the flux. More right? Flux. Oh yeah, flux is your friend. <laughs> what kind of flux is it? It's, uh, what kind of flux is it? Liquid. Yeah. How did you say that? What kind of flux is it? A liquid? Okay. No, it's a paste. It's a paste. It's a paste. Here is the copper braid, and in fact, Bernhard includes a strip of braid and some uh, electronic That's solder. Great stuff, it really is. Well, it, it, it's fantastic once you've cleaned out. A lot of people try to use those vacuum pins, and other people go straight in here with the, the, the this is the easiest way, literally, you're, when you got the iron at the right heat, once you get this all up, and it's very important that these holes are clear and that you don't remain on any of the traces because you'll lift the trace. If you spend too much time, you lift the trace, then you have to find out where the trace was going so you can jump a lead over to the new trace that you don't want to damage. But if you do it right, all the traces are absolutely clear and perfect. Oh, well, you just use the stranded wire to The stranded wire is like a sponge. It's just wicking up into the wire. Good, yeah. So now that's clean. Now, I'm not going to bother cleaning the flux off. I'm going to fit the low profile. Now, I wasn't wearing my close up, so I'm, I'm doing this. I'm going to try to get on. And uh, you'll notice those went in beautifully. Where do you put the flux on the stranded wire? I do put the flux on That's the stranded wire also. Just It just makes it flow every wick. Yeah. So I'm, I'm getting these. They just pop right in. Hmm. Problem is, you turn this thing upside down, they're going to fall right out. Right now, I pulled them out, and I've stuck the act chip on it. So there's the act, there's the sockets. That's to get a perfect alignment because these things are going to wobble around. That's the first one I did. I had to take them off. Then I came up with this, put them in the uh, sockets, put the act in the skin. What do you call that act ACT. assembly board? <laughs> okay, the act assembly board. Thank you. It's not a chip. What does the act stand for? Assembler? Assembler? Uh, now you ask me. Uh, I've been making video here. Control and time to chip. We've been making puns on them all day. Right. What really so is. what I'm doing is I'm supporting that assembly. board assembly. Thank you, Richard. From below, so it's pressing the uh, the sockets into place. And I've only tacked four points. And then I'm going to check, and then I go back and make sure that they're compressed right into place. Now I won't show you. I'll show you a little bit of soldering technique and how not to get the fingers in the way of the video camera. I was doing this in a rush two days before here because this chair, this assembly board just arrived for this machine. So we're just re remaining the pins, the, the rest of the pins. You see how quickly it goes. You see how I'm putting the, the uh, soldering iron on one side of the pin and the mm -hmm. solder on the other? There's good technique. Yeah, I know the crowd I've got here. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You need a better soldering tip. Probably. Well, that's the, the big one for the big points. 
Yeah. Uh, for the yeah, tiny little stuff, I have a really high powered. Yeah. You should have a medium one for the medium points. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you try and find this stuff in Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, yeah. Canada. Yeah. oh Canada, right. Yeah. Now, just for the heck of it, <laughs> now that we got it in, I'm going to pop this, the act off. And this is how easy the act comes off for flashing. It just pops right off. Two or three little pries. Make sure you don't, you know, destroy the legs. You have to flash the act outside the calculator. Yes, you do. However, Harold, uh, I should show you some more pictures later. Now, I'm just going to put it together. It's a dry fit. I don't want to throw the whole thing together and see if it works. I'm just going to dry fit the thing. You notice this one is not set up. Nice watch. This is not set up for uh, a printer yet. This is just the bare act. So in the act goes, there's the other four hairs right there. <laughs> you can see them. And uh, But this is how, literally, this is how fast it takes to do one of these things. And now really be careful lining the prongs up, <coughs> because I've actually seen them go at 90 degrees. <laughs> and uh, then I've had to pull one out and get one from another one and shove it back in and, and fix her up. Now I'm not going to put the screws in because I just want to dry test this. Here we go. <sighs> Down we go. Turn around. Beat 777. Dun, 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 dun. 300 IR. What's that say? Yahoo success. Happy Yahoo. face with a hat. That fast. What I didn't show you is I then took the board, washed the flux off. There are some professional things to use. I use isopropanol, 99%. Wash it off that way. How about program? There you go. Good. Up to you, Pat Matt. How to program these? <laughs> like the Woodstock. Hmm? It's a Woodstock. You program it normally. Oh, you mean the flashing? No, no, no. Oh, the flashing. Well, yeah, it's flashing. funny you asked. You go to Bernhardt, you pull up his stuff. You're uh, reading down here, because I can't pause your machine. It's actually now flashing. Now this is what happens on the screen. You grab the flash act, you pick what you're going to flash into it, you send the file, here's what it looks like at the other end. You have to hold the flash cable I passed in those five pins in the correct alignment. It's done. That's the fastest flash. It's done. It's now flash. So let's see if I flashed it correctly. It's just bad. So this is what you did in the lounge at the airport? Yes. Yeah. Did they look at you fine? Yeah. No, I had rebuilt one of these <laughs> for v v VTKI out of Australia. He brought his HP. We were sitting in the lobby of the hotel, and I tore it apart, put it back together, put a new board in it for him and stuff. And I had like 12 people watching us <laughs> in the lobby of the hotel on one of my layovers. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, he was just tickled pink. It was so much fun. That's up the flight attendant's going. You know, I think you're sexy because you have a brain. I heard that. So again, I'm just going to dry fit it, see if this flash. I just updated the flash. What I should have shown you here is the version. This is version 1.02 of an HP. I don't know what I did on this one. This might be the 67. Triple seven three hundred sixty seven E. So that was the flash for the 67 E. Yahoo, success again. Now, what I didn't show you is my wife and I on the floor looking for nine parts over the last 15 minutes, but I, you know, I cut that out because I didn't want to vacuum until I got it. There you go. That's how fast that was. We're done. Oh, I, can show you, uh, I can show you one more thing. How do I get out of here? Escape. 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 Control. Alt. Delete. Where? Yeah, up, up, up right. Top right. Oh, top, top right. right. I've got a touch screen. You know, everything I own is touch screen, and uh, everything I've worked. Turn the lights on. Yes. Okay. Uh, Harold, I want to show one more picture of Harold's, because somebody asked me if you have to pull. Oh. Okay, where'd it go? You get up here and, and do it. This is Vista. 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 I don't, know where, I don't know where it went out of there. Oh, it's a, a, no, that's not it. Uh, over here. No, that's it. You know, I'm looking for the drive. Double click that. Okay, double click that. There we go. Uh, up to Mod. Okay, up to Herald. Okay, over here. Click, click, click. Drag it down. Okay, this is what I want to show you. Here's where Herald. There's where Harold put his. He still wants to use this. I have a barrier here now. It says do not use this. I put mine in here. It's a little less milling to do. 
There's a lot of milling in here, but hey, what an elegant place it looks to nice. put it. It looks fantastic. I'm going to do my next one that way. Uh, the next thing is, okay, let's close that. Uh, where Upper right, the red X. The red X closes just the image, okay? And now we're going to go down here, and here's the last photo of what Harold did. You know those iPad mm. jacks with the four, four sections on them? He's got one of those plugged into the flash cable, so you have to watch your VCC, the input, the output, on your ACT assembly, which he doesn't call it. He calls it an ACT chip, but I'll defer to you. On the ACT assembly, it's labeled. He's got the VCC as the, on the jack, it's the last point on the jack, so it's not going through the gates on the way in and powering <coughs> the ACT. And he's dropped one of the wires. I notice he only has four wires going through. So he, this is the battery compartment. He pulls the battery out, he jacks straight into the battery, puts the USB into the machine, calls up ACT flash update, which is all that shows you how to do it in, in the website, etc. And then selects the version of the update. You saw all those files? Those are all different ACTs that you can put into your ACT, that one chip, and, and install in your machine. And then he just flashes directly. And I got these this morning from Harold. So there you go. That's the latest. And we all know how to read these. Yeah. At 20? Yeah. Nine. Singapore. 1976. 76. Fifth week, Singapore. Done. Like.